Bhagavad Gita, text 2.72 O Partha, having attained this divine state, one is not deluded. If one is fixed in this consciousness, even at the moment of death, one attains Brahman and the sensation of all suffering. Having attained enlightenment, there can be no recurrence of ignorance. Bimu Yati. Here, Krishna describes the enlightened condition as Brahma Nirvana. The word Nirvana is distinctly Buddhist, although it is also found in some of the later Upanishads. Here, Krishna includes it within Brahman. Literally, Nirvana means to blow out, as one does a candle to extinguish its light. The word has a negative connotation, and thus Buddhism has sometimes been considered a negative form of spirituality. It is negative, however, in a positive way. Its goal is to negate the suffering that it considers the world to consist of. Cessation of suffering is also concomitant to the goal of the Gita, and thus all that is concluded in Nirvana is within Krishna's general conception of enlightenment. Brahman is, as will become apparent in later chapters, an aspect of Krishna. It is not the complete expression of divinity, which is Bhagavan Krishna himself. At this point in the Gita, Krishna has not entirely revealed everything that the fully enlightened state of God consciousness includes, although he has hinted at it. Bhagavad Gita 2.59, 2.61 and 2.64 In the next chapter, Krishna will elaborate on dutiful action and action informed by knowledge. And in chapter 4, he will discuss the wisdom that is the fruit of such informed action. In chapter 5, Krishna uses the word nirvana three times. Bhagavad Gita 5.24-26 In the course of elaborating on the enlightened condition of Samadhi that he has explained in this concluding section of chapter 2. Bhagavad Gita 2.55-72 In each of these verses, Krishna calls the enlightened condition Brahma Nirvana. However, he ends chapter 5 by placing realization of himself within the equation of enlightenment, Bhagavad Gita 5.29, when he says that the peace of enlightenment, Shantihi, is attained quickly by acknowledging himself as the ideal of the Gyanis, Brahman, the Yogis, Paramatma, and his devotees, Bhagavan. In chapter 6, which involves an extended discussion of the spiritual practices of yoga that leads to enlightenment, Krishna elaborates further on the enlightened condition by including realization of the Paramatma feature of the Absolute within it. Param Atma Samahitaha, Bhagavad Gita 6.7 In the same section of Chapter 6, Bhagavad Gita 6.15, he reveals that the enlightened stage of yogic attainment includes the supremely peaceful sensation of material existence in Brahman. Shantim Nirvana Paramam, which is contained within realization of his person. Mat Samstam Bhagavan. He concludes chapter 6 by calling the yoga of devotion, Bhakti, the highest expression of yoga. This is the yoga that corresponds with the Gita's full sense of enlightenment, God realization. Thus, within this concluding section of chapter 2, Krishna's description of the enlightened person 
refers ultimately to his devotee.